we're part of the ecology, we're yeah. part of nature, yeah, and we all have to fit in. And when one party overuses it, everybody else uh, suffers as well. Tourism, to my mind, in, 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 in all reality, is probably the most important element of conservation today. It gives value to the wildlife. The desert adapted lions um, in Namibia are, are unique um, for the species. Uh, they live in a habitat uh, uh, and, and exert behavior that is, is not seen uh, you know, in, in lion populations elsewhere. And the lions uh, that uh, occupy the area um, are very important to, to Namibia currently. It's the only place in the world where lions um, live in such extreme desert environment and that they also um, go onto the coastline. Um, it's the only place where you can see freelaning wild lions um, on a beach. The human wildlife conflict aspect is the issue of the day. Um, and, and even tour operations that link with that uh, uh, and allow people to see the hardships that the local communities have to endure and, and the initiatives that have been taken at that level to, um, you know, to monitor the lions. The conservancies have lion rangers that have been appointed um, and, uh, and, and they work very closely with myself and the other operators in the area and their skill levels have been increased. And I'm still trying to find the answers to the questions that we had in the early 80s. Um, and, I, and that, I think, uh, where it comes down to the importance of a long term, the investment. The investment that one makes really only pays off in years to come. So um, I feel like I'm, at the moment, I'm probably the only one of that group of people left. But I'm still trying to do the job that they asked me to do. <laughs> 30 years ago. <clears throat> so yeah, it is a privilege to be here, uh, but uh, you know, the importance of, of that long-term investment. Yeah.